omo banta okoro galuda okoro galuda konu jagun omo se omo ra omo ni yebu aba ndo gere gere ni ga do de ga ni bi eje bu si ododo omi owo ye mule omi le awa ti no mi ni le kai sawo raye sawo de o baba ye ye Welcome to another edition of Ijebu Congress interview. Today we have a prominent son of Ijebu land, a legal luminary, a senior advocate of Nigeria, a man who is committed to the development of Ijebu land and has been spending his time and resources for the development of Ijebu land. Today we have Adea Papa. Mr. Tundi Ayolaja, a senior advocate of Nigeria, who is the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Ijebu Congress. Sir, good evening, sir. Good evening. Who is Tundi Ayolaja, sir? What? Well, you've told the, our viewers the person who he is. Um, the name is Ola Tundi Ayolaja. Um, well, I'm a lawyer by profession. Um, I was born and bred in the Yebu Mushi. Um, that's it. Born and bred in the Yebu Mushi, sir. What was growing up in the Yebu Mushi like in those days? Well, the, the Yebu Mushi is known for the market yes. all over the Yebu land. And um, it's um, a five-day affair. Every five days, um, the market holds. And it's been like that years before even my father was born. <laughs> and my father was born in 1906. Wow. So, before Nigeria. <laughs> before Nigeria. So your father was not in Nigeria, sir? Um, yeah, my father was an Ijebu man. Okay. All right. And um, by virtue of uh, the amalgamation he of the north Nigeria. and the south, he became a Nigerian. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, sir, would you compare Ijebu Mushi of those days to what we have today? In those days, it is said, I wasn't born. It is said that we had communal life, and of course I know that Jebu Moshi was not as developed as it is today. What was communal life in Jebu Moshi like in those days? Well, when I was growing up, it was something of memorable remembrance. Um, there was communal life, so to say, and it was a place for everybody to develop at his or her own pace. For instance, in the Gebu here, in the Gebu motion here, we had um, the IPS, the Gebu motion Progressive Society, and it was um, a center or an annual uh, occasion, usually celebrated in August, when people came from far and wide. Um, a lot of people from Igebo, the environment, got married to people in Igebo, Muslim here. 
because we had the annual rally and that rally was um, something that brought people in the Jebu land together. Uh, it was known as August Rally. And um, as time went on, people um, in other places started something like that. But it was not as um, grand, grand yes, as we had it in the motion here. And you've talked about the market. Um, that's why people from this place in Yebu land are known as Omolu Mushi and Okubu. I mean, it's, it starts early in the morning until uh, late at night. Um, so that was one, the one, one, of those One days. cultural festival of Yebu is a major cultural festival. Is the Agamo Festival. That's right. And one of the Agamos, the Oloko. Yeah. It's from here. Yeah. No, it's the Nopa. It's the Nopa? Yes. Who is from here? Yeah. Nopa is from Odu Nopa. Okay. You know, Ijebu Mushi is, um, is like um, a federation. You see, that place is known as Ijebu Mushi Market. Yes, sir. But Ijebu Mushi, you can't point to any particular place as a Yebu Mushi, then it was uh, made up of uh, Ori Leni Rewu. Ori Leni Rewu is um, 300 plus villages wow. that is that was known then as a Yebu Mushi. Mm -hmm. Now, some of them have um, been extinct. Yes, extinct. extinct. And um, maybe we have maybe about 50 something villages left. left. That's what you call Ijebu Mushi. So, as I was saying to that, when Nopa moved in those days, yes. as young boys, did you, did you follow the oh, Nopa? Yes, I, 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 I will tell you my experience. Um, Nopa's house is about um, 50 years from me here. Okay, sir. And um, then the Yagema Festival um, held in June, July. I think it's still the same thing yes. now. Yes. It's always at the rainy season. Yes. Um, the ceremony starts from individual village all around the Jebu land. Yes. You have um, 16 Agemos all over the Jebu, yes. the Agemo priests, yes. 16 of them. Yes. They are known as Ulujuono, that is keepers of the gate. Yes. Keepers of the gate. Um, I would just put them at different places to guide Ijebu land. Mm, the um, entry points into Ijebu land. Yes, all the entry points. You have um, Ibongo. You have the Ijebu. Ijebu. Yes. In um, Ishiwo, Itu. Yes. In Odunopa here, you have Nopa. In um, um, Odubolu, you have Tami. In um, what's the where you have um, immediately you leave in your body from if you have Okwawa, you had um, you have um, um, was Moku okay in Ago, in Ago, yes, at the end, yes, at the end, yes, then in the Jabugo, long ago, yes, you had um. Um, other game who's um, he lost his um, this thing traditional in, box. Box in the river, yes, sir. Um, you in, in the yes, sir. um, you have a jar, yes, uh, you have a yes, sir. um, you have um, I, 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 I was uh, so you, you, you still, well, when you I know was very young, well. yes, sir. I used to go You, you with know them. very well, and when you relate to that time yes. in history, and now, are you concerned that we're losing our cultures? There is no doubt about that. We've almost lost it. Um, but with a thing like this, yes, sir. which the Yebu Congress yes, uh, started, yes, uh, we will be able to revive some of um, 
these cultures. Um, we might not be able to revive everything, but at least we will. They will not go into extinction. Totally. Totally. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Before we go into the book conference, you are a lawyer, a senior advocate of Nigeria, a sad one for that. You are Ujale's lawyer. And for Ujale to pick somebody as his lawyer, that person must not only be brilliant, must be sound, must be conversant with the culture and tradition of Ujale. Sir, how did you get to read law? What prompted you to read the law? Well, I'll tell you. It's, um, my father, if my father had um, the type of opportunity that I had, yes. he would have been a lawyer. So when I was growing up, he was always telling me about lawyers, about the courts, and at one stage he expressed the, um, his own wish that I should become a lawyer. Well, I had no particular... Uh, was it that literate, sir? Oh, yes. Okay, sir. Oh, yes, it was. You know those people who read standards since those days? Yes, sir. He, he wrote Corsi. Okay. And, but the, the die was cast mm -hmm. about 1956. It was um, late Justice Olivia Desson. Okay, sir. He was the magistrate in the old western region, but he was sitting in Ikeja, in Ikeja, near the, where you have the present high court Courts. in Ikeja. Okay, sir. He was there as a magistrate. Okay. Then Justice G.I.C. Taylor yes, was the judge from the old western region. You know, those days Ikeja was part of the old western yes, region. Yes, so we were passing by the back of the police college where you now have the Archbishop of Viney mm -hmm. um, yes. we, we were coming from that side yes, to the general hospital when my father got to the high court where you have the present high court yes, he just removed his car and I was wondering I asked him, Baba, why did you remove your car? he didn't answer me and we were going towards the general. When we got to where you have the general hospital now, yes, he put up his car. I said, Baba, why did he say, in Yoruba, called to in your board of the Fila, maybe the court to Lodu. That's the esteem in which the court Exactly, the, the respect for the courts those days. Yes, and he was the judge, Mr. Um, Justice L. V. Adesoya. Yes, sir was the magistrate there. Okay. Then he told me in that place, Omo, Omo Ujale, the magistrate to one day. So then said, well, when we got back home, I said, Daddy, I would like to read law. Wow. No, I first of all, how do you become a judge or a magistrate? He said, you have to go and read law. Oh. Okay. So that developed my interest. And then the next time I went to the race course, it was race course then. At that time. And I watched the assizes. Now, what is that, sir? Assizes is the opening of the um, legal year for the trial okay. of offenses. Okay. Then the judge will go to church, he will come back. Inspect a guard of honor. He will be in his scarlet robe, and then he will inspect the guard of honor before he starts hearing criminal cases, murder cases, you know, robbery, and all the rest of it. And um, so I saw them. And when I got back to my house, I went to the restaurant and I saw this. I said yes, that was what he told me. Said, all right, I was going to read law. So that was how the interest developed. And um, after the preliminaries, yes. I went to the University of Lagos, yes. read law, 
when I was called to the bar in 1972. Sir, to become a senior advocate of Nigeria, you must have been very outstanding. And definitely, like I said earlier on, for Kabezi to pick on you as his legal counsel, a permanent one for that matter, you must be very, very brilliant. What case would you regard as perhaps the most celebrated case you have handled? Um, I won't be able to pinpoint it <laughs> on one particular one. Perhaps there are many of them. Because um, I, have, um, I have been a senior advocate since 1995. That's about 26 years, years ago. ago. Yes, sir. So I won't be able to pick. But I've had so many cases. Okay, well, um, I'm an Ijebu man. Yes, sir. And I'm on South. So, every person must serve royalty. And a Yebu man, you must serve royalty in one form or the other. In so, I am serving royalty. In serving royalty, sir. And, uh, of course, you have not told us of your, that your father is from royalty. And somehow you got close to Kabesi Awujani, custodian of Yebu culture and tradition. How did that relationship start? Well, I am, I am a counselor. Yes, sir. And native law and custom okay. is part of the law recognized in Nigeria. Yes, sir. And like you said, Kabe Isia Ujale is the custodian of Igebu native law and custom. Yes, so if I'm close to him, it's because of my um, my profession. Acknowledged brilliance. Well, I don't know about that. You don't want to say that. Sir. I, I, have, I always try my best. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sir. And how would you describe Kabezi? How Yes, sir. It's an enigma. I doubt if we will have anybody like him in the next 200 years. Because we don't have two of such people in, 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 uh, in a century, he's been on the throne for 61 years. So it's, uh, it's an enigma. It's, even at his age now, he's still very sound. Very, very sound. Definitely. And um, we pray for him that he should live long. Have you ever been on the wrong side of Kabbalah's side? If you are close to somebody, you must, at one time or the other, you must enter into one disagreement or the other with it. And you if, sure? you have, if you have not, well, KBAC is somebody who appreciates arguments. And I also, by my training, if I see a better um, submission to serial argument, yes, I, I give way. And uh, you cannot you cannot work with KBC without having the opportunity or the displeasure, let me put it that way, to have some discussions with him. When I say discussions, yes, both one that is palatable and one that is not palatable. A balanced you life. have you just have to know uh, where to, to draw the curtain. If it is a legal point, yes, he would submit. But he would argue his point. He would always argue his point. And you have to give it give it to him. If you are or to anybody, if you have a client and a client wants you to um, present his case in one particular way. If it is not against the ethics of your profession, yes. or if there is no um, legal fallacy mm -hmm. contained in that position, oh yes, certainly. Uh, on one occasion, KBC, I drafted uh, something to file, and he then came on and said, can't, can't we put this 
And I said, yes, I looked at it and said, that is it, let me go and investigate it. I came back and I said, yes, that is it, we can put it. It's, it's better to be superfluous than to be insufficient. Mm -hmm. And he bought into it, and, uh, but it was a suggestion. If he did not suggest it to me, yes. I would not have had the opportunity um, to investigate it. Yes. Because before I take any position on the point of law, uh, first of all, I don't. nobody carries the law here. Mm -hmm. When you have the problem, you look into your books, um, the monographs, the cases, and you form a view. So I, all the time, he would always suggest, make suggestions. You know, he's been there for 61 years. So it's, it's an authority. Yes, he has, he has a um, very vast experience. Yes, sir. So, sir, thank you, sir. Um, considering your background, considering your attainment professionally, considering your relationship with the custodian of Ijebu culture and tradition, it is no accident that you are the chairman, board of trustees of Ijebu Congress. And that uh, you've been in that position since the inception of the Congress. Sir, the aims and objectives of the Congress, do you think you are achieving them, sir? Well, it's still a young association, very young. And um, you cannot achieve everything within the space of time that the association has been in, in existence. But by and large, the spirit behind the association has been well thought out. And um, it will afford the younger ones the opportunity to learn from the older ones. It will also um, give an occasion for those who are members to learn from the older people in the association. And at the end of the day, um, we all will be able to attain that height that the Ijebu Congress has um, set for itself. We'll come back to you, Shujoke. But before we go to Shujoke, sir, the Congress has short term, medium, and long term aims. Yes. In the short term, sir, what do you want the Congress to achieve, sir? Um, in the short term, it is already achieving the awareness. Okay. That's the important thing. Creating an awareness. Creating an awareness yes, for Igebu sons and daughters, both at home and in this diaspora. That has already, uh, already been achieved. Um, the other day we had um, a discussion, um, you know, um, and there was a security summit. There was Congress a and young exactly, relatives, exactly. You know, and, and, and we had very useful contributions. Um, Baba has not. I mean, yeah, with Yes, sir. I have not presented the matter to him. You are a son, sir. Yes. The, why, are we, why are we not presented? The, the him, reason sir? being that I want to be able to give specific developments or developmental goals that the Congress has achieved yes, before I do that. The awareness is there, but before you go to Baba or to Yahoo mm -hmm. to make a presentation, you must be sure that those who are behind the association are people who are respectable. Proven integrity. With integrity. No stain. Well, you, you cannot have a, a white cloth all the time. <laughs> okay. I mean, so you can have some black spots. That's true. But you must, as, as somebody to make a presentation to him, yes, you yourself must be convinced that the association is out to promote laudable goals. So when the chairman spoke to me yes, that I should speak to Kadesi, and I said no, 
the time is not right yet. Let us move ahead, convince ourselves that this is a Congress or an association that will not fail. Because he doesn't associate with failure. No, with failure. Oh, yes. So, um, and I, I don't want to go to him. And then in later years, I said, ah, that's what you set up. So, I want all members to be up and doing show interest and commitment in the enterprise because it's an enterprise sir in in, in the days of your you'll be regarded as an equally person in the land in the days of your yes. but today it's a um, not many people will not even know that you are not in the world it's not because of your closeness yes. to KBC. don't you isn't the dichotomy of those days a good people isn't it affecting the Congress? Well, I can't see it. Those days, you can count those who are graduates on your fingertips in the whole of Ijebu land. Okay. And a lot of them came from Igebode and yes, <laughs> just a few. Um, but these days, there is nobody yes. in Igebode. Those that you, you think are sons and daughters of Igebode that don't have roots, roots in the so -called outside Igebode, the so-called Igebode, <laughs> and that nomenclature. Yes, sir has disappeared by, by itself. Mm. It has disappeared by itself. And nobody talks about it anymore. If anybody talks about it now, that person will be an illiterate. The, the Dabure, I once had an interview with Dabure. Yes. And he, he attributed that success to Abujani. That he has coalesced Ijebus everywhere. And in the past, you will hear Igure. But well, I would say there's ability to mold everybody together yeah. as made. Would you agree that it's our that has done a lot of that? Time? He has, he has, he has done, he has contributed a lot in changing that. Yes. Nature. But education has also contributed to it. Okay. Um, pre 1955. Yes. Sir. You had that nomenclature all over the place. But since 1955, with, um, with um, universal education yes, introduced by the Aula was government, Western, Western Region government, yes, that nomenclature by itself yeah, is, just disappeared. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, somebody who is neck to neck with you. He is from Igebu Mushi. You are from Igebu Day. What is it that you're going to say? What makes him inferior, inferior to you? To you? Mm. I mean, it's, it's not his education. And that has also colored the minds of those who regarded us as people from Iguri then. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, he doesn't, doesn't exist anymore. anymore. Not anymore. Mama Banta, Omo do de ga um, 
I'm privileged to have this chat section with you, yes. sir. So they say, oh, we cannot play mix, Jack, you know, boy. Yes. How do you spend your free time when you're not thinking about the society and everything going on now? Well, free time? Hmm. Let me be honest with you. In my younger days, as a legal practitioner, I used to play tennis. Um, I used to enjoy a lot of night out, mm -hmm. uh, visiting Obi Miliki Sports. Alagomiji. <laughs> um, and some other sports, carbon bamboo and all the rest of it. But legal practice disciplined me. Um, when you are a legal practitioner and you are a court man, it gets to a stage that what you, before you can do a good presentation in court, you must read up. The fact that you read your file yesterday is no reason why you will not read the same file today to prepare for tomorrow. So, little by little, I was not discouraged, but I didn't have time. I will tell you an experience. When I got married, there was an occasion that I had a difficult case that I was going to handle in the High Court. And I read till about one o'clock and I went to sleep. You know, young, young uh, married person. I was reciting what I was going to say in court in my sleep. <laughs> so my wife got what he said, ah, what's wrong? I didn't know. She woke me up and said I was talking. And that could give you a picture of what the, the level of preparation and the level of commitment. So I had to give up all my past signs. But the only thing that I cannot give up is what watching football oh. wow. <laughs> on, on the television. What is your favorite club, sir? Club? club. Ah. You want me to tell you <laughs> the best? <laughs> okay, she was going. That's very interesting. That's now, very interesting. but my... Did you play football in those days? I did. Okay, wow. sir. My, my master, the man who brought me through the law. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. The first lesson he gave me yes, sir. was how to respect judges, but respect court clerks more. Then I asked him why. Right. He said, you may be a first class brain. It's only when your file gets to the judge that you you will be able to do a nice presentation. If your file does not get to the judge, they ask up, they will call the case. Where is the file? Oh, my dear is still at the registry. Mm. So you must be friendly to court registrants. Don't look down on them. They are court registrants because somebody has to do that job. If they had your opportunity, they might be better lawyers. So it is alleged, talking about being friendly with yes. court registrants, it is alleged, not me now, yes. that uh, some councils by their ways. Does that, does being friendly with court registrants or other judges, does buying ways? No, does that, no, does I'll that, tell you no. Okay, so no, it doesn't. You see, 
I am Tunja Ayonadia. When I started law practice, yes, people thought I was Duke Ayonadia's son. I was going to ask her that how much of your law practice has been affected by your being an Ijebu person? Hmm. Being an Ijebu person yes. has made me to go more into land matters, shifting sea matters. Especially at my old age now, when um, I am almost back at home because I cannot stand Lagos traffic anymore. So now I stay more here in the Yebu machine. If I have cases in the back, it's only 20 minutes. In Shagam, 30 minutes. In Ijebo, 20 minutes. In Ibadan, 1 hour. In Abekuta, 1 hour, 30 minutes. I used to go all over Nigeria, but not now. I don't. I have enough here. And um, I'm satisfied. Okay. So that has made me to do more of um, land matters. GPC matters uh, these days. In Lagos, yes, I still have my commercial practice. I'll go very personal. Sir. I know that you are Kabyshi's counsel. You are also friendly with Otuma Oweyeme. And you want to do the case that involves both parties. How do you feel? Considering your relationship with both of them, sir. Well, I. Otuba Oyemi yes, is older than myself. Yes, sir. He has never been my friend. Yes, friend. Okay. But I got to know him um, because of um, litigation in respect of uh, the railways. Okay. So, if I take a, if I decide to take a brief, take a brief yes, sir. against my mother, mm. I, I put it that far. Yes, sir. against my mother, I will carry it to the last legally. Yes, legally. No sentiments. No, no. But I can make a choice. Oh, it's my mother. I cannot do the case against mm. her. But. If I well, it's not possible now. She's not alive. Yes, sir. So, but when she was alive, if I took a a case against her, I will. There will be no sentiments about it. Have, you, have you found yourself in such cases sir, in the past? Yes. Not against my mother. No. Yes. That was just people, a hypothetical case. Against people that I know. Yes, sir. I mean, yes. I'll and take my case. Do my job. I mean, it, it, nothing spoiled. Nothing. <laughs> we will meet. Yes, sir. I will. I will the usual camera day. It will continue. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, but it has nothing to do. I'm doing a professional. Profession. Yes. Yes, sir. So how do you, how do you balance work and having time for your family, being a husband and a father at the same time? Well, I have um, two daughters. One is a lawyer, the other one is um, a diplomat. Okay. So I don't have any. At least now. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I, 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 that factory has been closed. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what? They, they, they are, they are, the two of them are there. Okay. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Sir, one issue that has been very there or remains there to Jebu's sons and daughters is that Jebu's should have their state. And I know you're deeply involved in this. What has been a major problem, one of the major problems, was that Remus 
we are not going to accept Jebude as the capital. That was Kabeshi told me recently that the Akari had signed that document. But in spite of that, considering that all that is required constitutionally, and you being a legal luminary, do you foresee a Jebu state coming on? Thank you. You say, um, if we if we think of equity and justice, Ijebu state ought to have been created a long time ago. Because we had 28 provinces. Some of those provinces now have two or three states. So, states were created on the basis of the old provinces. States were created on the basis of old headquarters. Now, why should Igebu province be the only one that is left without being made a state. And there is no justice in it. It's not equitable. It is, it is against all principles of justice and equity. And you think we and deserve if, a state? if we will continue... You think we deserve a state? Listen, we do. We have everything that it takes to be a state. If they had made... I will put it this way. If they had made... The mistake of giving us a state, all other states, even including Lagos, would have been coming to learn from us. Why do you say so, sir? All right. You know, we are compact, very compact. Very, very homogeneous. Yes. In the whole state, excluding the old Epe division, yes, sir. Okay, we go. All right. From um Ogijo yes, sir. to Waterside. Yes, sir. We have everything that it takes to have a good state. In terms of administration, we have people. Yes, sir. And that is the most important thing. People. We have people. We don't have any uneducated person here in Nigebu. No, not anymore. That's one. We don't have any uneducated. I say that for emphasis, sir. I will. I we repeat don't it. Have any, any uneducated person. Yes, not yes. anymore. Okay, that sir. is a person who can read and write. Yes. Everybody in the Jebu land. In the Jebu land. Let's put it at ninety-five percent. So that is human capital. Yes, sir. Then natural resources. We have bitumen, one of the largest deposits in the world. It it hooses out by itself. Yes. Without anybody mining it. Yes. If you go to part of the water side, you will see during the dry season, you will see it on the road. And Nigeria still buys bitumen yes. from abroad. Abroad. We have it. What is bitumen? Is oil mixed with sand. That's all. Yes, sir. Now, we have the deepest part of the sea. Of the sea. The deepest part of the sea. Atolokula. Atolokula. You don't need any dredging. So, and we have now, Baguda, cassava. Yes, sir. Is the, the, the people now. They use Nigeria it. Nigeria is the largest producer. Exactly. And when I was young, yes, sir. Gary was attached as staple food of the Igeboos. And we didn't die because we drank Gary. No. Yes. <laughs> so we have everything that it takes, and in terms of management, if anybody becomes the governor of this state, 
Igabo State. Igabo State. You can't mess around. They will just call your father. Elders will call your father and tell your son, "I'll be stealing our money." Yes, sir, don't you think we have lost that moral, moral level that you talk about? Just it now? is because I will tell you. Sometimes ago, yes, sir. there was a woman. They were looking for his son. Yes, sir. The son was accused of stealing. And they went to the house. I won't name the place. Okay, sir. They went to the house and they saw the mother. And they asked him, Where's your son? He said, Ah, didn't you see? See him on the road? He, he just stepped out now. <laughs> <laughs> the son was in the city. Wow. That tells you an Igebu man. Or an Igebu woman. Yes. So it's moral decadence that we have now. It's not because, it is because people believe, the older ones, yes. they, they believe that the situation in Nigeria yes. does not make provision yes. for that discipline. When I was young, anytime I came back home, I didn't have the courage to just go straight into the house because I knew I was late in coming back home. I would hide by the door or I would go and call somebody, the neighbor, to come and preach for me. In those days? Yes. And you can't, you can't, I mean, people are talking of school eating program. You will not, nobody, you will not be allowed to eat outside your home. In those days. In those days, they call you come and eat Sarah. Your mother will just look at you like this. <laughs> and that sends a lot of messages. That's the message. Hmm. You go to a neighbor's house, you find them eating, you say, ah, come and eat, come and join us. Ah. Your mother will ask, do you want to eat? Mm. You <laughs> say no. Go and eat. If you go there and eat, when you get to the door of your house, <laughs> with your... <laughs> that was the discipline of the time. Yes, it's nice going down this memory lane. Yeah. Reminiscence yes. of sort and beautiful reminiscence. We have the culture and that is who we were yes. as a Jew. Exactly. But sir, why did we lose it? Because of the society. Because, I mean, when you mix sand with Gary, what do you get? God's polluted. It's the influence. What can we do, sir? Huh. Sir, I ask that because... What we can do? You cannot, your generation cannot be totally excused, sir. Not my generation. <laughs> generation, not my generation, because I've tried my best. No, not in particular. Sir. Yes, my generation. But the generation you belong to All right. can be said to be the generation that gave us what we have yeah. in Nigeria. I'm talking globally now, not just Ijebulan. What is your, in your own opinion, sir, can we do to go back to those beautiful old days? And we talked about it. Well, it, we, we must change. We must change the mindset of the younger ones. Those who cancelled history and civics in schools, in schools did a lot of harm to generation after us. I mean, if you do not know, see, the Yebus will always say that if you don't know what is the ailment wrong with your father, and you see him bending down to go to the farm, you will think that is the normal oh. thing. You will not know that he has a back, back ache. 
Tomo de uba mo pe e yi ndun baba un. O ma ro pe won bere lati le lo so ko ni. E yi ndun baba e ni. Ba ko mo ko mo exactly ko mo nkan to nse. Ngba ti e ba mu history te cancel e ni school. Ki lo mo ma se mo pe baba un o se bayi o se bayi to se bayi. Omo de uba to I want to do she It's because they don't have anything. I mean, one be more, one feel it. We started with chinku chinku little stars. One be more, one feel it. Yeah, man, we can't do it. You want to see me? Yeah, you. We buy be hundred. We not to talk about money. So. Sand has been mixed with Gary, and that's what we have. So it has become Gary Sand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Sir, we have not had Ijebu land, sorry, Ijebu state formally. But Ijebu sons and daughters are doing very well. Everywhere. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere. Accomplished. Sound integrity in the banking industry, in all styles of human endeavor. Why is it that we have not been able to translate that into the development of Egypt? Sir? It's hatred. How do you mean, sir? Hatred of the tribe. How do you mean, sir? I have given you the basis yes, of the creation of states. Yes, sir. The first one they used was every province. Yes, sir. 28 provinces. The only one that is not a state is Ijebu. What reason can you give for it other than hatred? Are we not part of that attitude against ourselves? No. We can't give ourselves. If I can give Ijebu state yes, to Ijebu, yes, I will give it. Those who had the opportunity, yes, they first of all said, the requirement yes, to become a state. They say you must be one of the 28 provinces. Yes, that was the first thing. Yes, so, 28 states. Yes, Some of those provinces can have two, three states. Yes, not that bad. So, why shouldn't we have? Sir, what can we do? before the formal creation of the new state. Because I'm sure that in your younger days, you will have thought that by the time you get to this old age, old age right now, the will have been more developed. I'm sure that would have been your thinking, yes. your wish. And I'm almost certain that you are not happy at the pace of development that we have now. So what can we as Ijebus do to develop Ijebu? Everything that has been done in Ijebu yes. within the past 40 years yes, have been done as a result of communal efforts of the Ijebus. Really, sir? Yes. You name it. Name it. Everything. You talk of schools. Yes, sir. When the free primary education started in, in 1955, all Igebu communities, like every other communities in uh, Yoruba land, yes. who wanted to have schools, had to do it by communal effort. The Awolo government only gave them 200 pounds to build a classroom. So if you talk of development, in education, it was done by communal effort. Now, look at what Aujale is doing now. Um, repairing schools, building um, clinics, um, repairing roads by communal efforts, by development provided by industries in Ijebu land. Now, tell me what the state government has. There was a time, I mean, I have to say this, 
everybody around here used to fetch water in front my, of my house because I had a bubble. People came all the way from Igebode to fetch water there. All the way? Yes. And that was years ago. And I, I did that bubble during the Ramadan period. And I had some taps in front of the house there. And people came all the way. Very good. Yes, very good. Thereafter, other people um, did the same thing. So tell me, what is it that you have in the Mushi market there? Before the council started to build um, small, small stores. stores. Some of us did it for our community without telling anybody. Without even mentioning it to anybody. So everything that has been done, been done by communal effort. Mama Banta, Okoro Galuda, Okoro Galuda, Gonu Jagun, Omo Shi, Omo La, Omo Diye Buaka, Ndu Gere Gere Diga, Ndu Diga Nibye Je Busi, Ododo, Omi Owo, Ye Mule, Omi Le, Awati Lo Mini Le Kaisha Wo, La Ye, Thank you very much, sir. I will go round up and in rounding up, sir, I want you to maybe pause a little bit, sir, and tell us. What would you like to see your good land to become? I would like, I want to see Ijebu land become the hub of industries, the hub of agriculture, the hub of Good government, local government. You know, local government is a matter for the state. That's that's what it should be. Yes, sir. When you have a federation, yes, is is a, 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 a union between the central government and the sub national government. Yes, sir. Um, councils, local councils have nothing to do with it. It is now left for the sub-national to create the local governments. Government. If, if you think you need 10, you create 10. If you need 20, you create 20. When I was growing up, we had Ijebu Mushi District Council. We had Ijebu Fe District Council. We had Oshumayegu District Council. To bring governments closer to closer the people. to the people, and you can you can be sure, an Igbo man, if he ate in your house yesterday, and you do anything wrong, so say he will tell you off. Is it because I ate in your in your house yesterday? That's why you are doing all this. That's true. That's true. That's true. It, 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 no no Igbo man would ask for. Unnecessary favors. Yes. One, beg somebody to give you money. Is really? this type of politics that we are, yes. we are now in? They now say uh, one thousand can cook soup. One thousand, let's say, beg. Is we never saw this. We never saw this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we as in the last almost sixty minutes, we're going with it. Great son of Jebuland, the pride of Jebuland, Mr. Tudi Anyonaja. I don't know why we just call him Mr. It's simply Mr. It's a question of choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question of choice. Mr. Tudi, I've had um, so many of them. Yes, Mr. Anyonaja, a senior advocate of Nigeria, and I'm sure we have enjoyed him. Uh, sir, just this last question. 
What would you like to be remembered for? By the time you grow older, by the grace of God, and that man, for what we do, by the time you want to you grow that boy, what would you like to remember for? I, I, would, I would like to be reminded. Remember? I remembered yes, for being an Ijebu man from Ijebu Mushi. And you know, to accomplish that, you must have made an impression on the minds of your people. Yes, sir. If you don't make an impression on, on them, they will never remember you for anything. Yes, See, my father, during his um, last days, he had one um, building in front of where I have the garden now. Yes, sir. And he told me, when you are old enough to build a house, you know, mine is upstairs. Don't reduce it. Don't make it a bungalow. No. Because people coming from Ijebo Mushi to describe this place, they will say, when you get to that upstairs, mm. that is the house of the man you want to go and see. Just like you told me this afternoon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, it was something symbolic. Mm. See, I have made it to that don't reduce it. And I think we can take you that further. I built a name. Exactly. exactly. So I will be, I want to be remembered as an Igebu man from Igebu Mushi who has paid his own dues. That's all. We have paid your dues, and I'm sure you continue to pay your dues. We pray God to grant you long life, the wherewithal to do what you are doing, and much, much more. Not just for the ruler, for the legal demand uh, 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 aspect of our life mm -hmm. and for humanity in general. Viewers, when else we come, we'll bring you another great song for the ruler. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Omoshi, Omora, Omodi Yebuaka, Do Gere Gere Diga, Do Diga Di Bie Yebusi, O Do Do, O Mi Owo, Yemule, O Mi Le, Awa Di Lo Mi Ni Le Kai Shawo, Raye Shawo Deo, Baba Yeye.